Welcome back to the Nuzlocke. This is the Royolu egg that I hatched. Serious Nature, which is neutral, inner focus. Uh, yep, it's a, it's a reload, Riolu. Uh, named it Lady after an icebreaker from, actually a very broken icebreaker from Netrunner to continue the current naming theme. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, we may use it. Steel type would be really useful to have access to. Um, actually, it's probably pretty good for the ice gym, right? Because steel fighting against ice. Um, some good possibilities there. So I might trade it up for the ice gym. Uh, for now, I'm not going to use it. Just for now. I've also trained up the lantern between episodes. Just because I was running around hatching an egg, I figured I might as well run around in grass and train up a Pokemon. Um, so this is what Lantern's looking like, 6384 on defenses, 156 HP, some decent bulk for a Mon like this. Decent skill set too. It would be nice to have Thunder Wave on it probably over Confuse Ray. I usually just prefer Thunder Wave for the consistency and the long duration of it. But, um, okay, I'm going to assume possibly Grass types here, just throw Charizard in the front. But, um, lost my train of thought. What was I talking about? Oh, it's, it has to be relearned, and I don't have any heart skills to relearn moves right now. I used the one I had. So we might need to look into farming. On the nature, on the discussion of farming, apparently that grass where I got the Arbok from is a really good patch of grass, except for the fact that Arbok is in it. So that really sucks. That's where I did the training with Lantern to hatch the egg. And there's Munchlax in there, which looks like it almost always has leftovers, or just always has leftovers. So... It would be really easy to get Thief. Well, when we have Thief, it'd be really easy to farm up six sets of leftovers, I think. And now I haven't decided if that's, well, if that's fair. Uh, hold on, I need to adjust my headset. God damn it. Should just should just cut my fucking hair. Um, uh, yeah, I'll just go into Fire Fang here. I'm not too worried about Eradicate. You know, I guess there's a distinct possibility that it has um, guts and we burn it, right? That would actually fuck us over pretty hard, probably. I should have probably swapped around to dodge that possibility. Although Charizard's smoking these dudes with no fucking problems, so... At least one of the starters is still alive. So, in base game, I know if you go in here, you have to like pay a toll or something, so we won't do that. I think we'll just get our encounter out of the way. Shit. Um, what do we have to help with an encounter? I guess we still lead with Dra or Charizard for Dragon Rage and then swap into the Hypnosis. Yeah, nobody has Thunder Wave. A Giraffe Rig. Um, Psychic is kind of a gap in our coverage. It's not the worst thing. It's immune to ghosts on a psychic type, which is okay. Um, do you think it'll have any recoil moves? I should have thrown a quick ball. I didn't even see what it did. I wasn't even looking. Baton pass spam. Ooh, baton pass is interesting though. The catch rate on this isn't that bad, right? Maybe we just start throwing ultra balls. Uh, unless fastball works.
Um, your base speed, actually you should check the documentation. Base speed 85. I could see this getting bumped to 100 if they wanted to go crazy on it. Giraffe rig, Pokedex entry number is 203. 203, 203. You know, it's also worth looking at what changes this has while we're looking at it. Speed 105, special attack 110. God damn. 495 stat total learns nasty plot at 50. Not bad. That's not bad. Fastball then. I'm assuming that the stat changes will apply to the fastball. That the fastball isn't like hard coded backwards for what Pokemon work with it. That it works, you know, it actually checks the speed. It's not just that it has like a list of the mons that actually work. Given that it worked on the first try, it probably is true that it works that way. All right, we need to nickname this thing. Um, I'm gonna pause while I think of a nickname. There's nothing that obviously stands out, so I'm just gonna go with a classic, oops, name here, and we'll call it Crypsis. That sounds decently fitting for a psychic type. All right, we're committed to the route, so we won't go back to check it out until afterwards. I'm gonna toss Apex. Actually, Apex is probably bad if we know there's psychic types in the grass. I guess we'll keep Charizard on the front, that's fine. Um, yeah, we'll just fight you with Charizard. That's fine. The last one had a bunch of normal types. Picnickers are kind of like, seem to be like grass types and then your early game type normals. Yeah, early game, normal type, again. Uh, I think we'll just do Fire Fang spam here. I think it's fine to fight this with Charizard. So, uh, one other thing is now that we have strength, uh, what I might do is either uh, kind of a uh, episode where we go to backtrack to different places where we need strength to access, like the Ruins of Alf parts of it. Or I might just tack those on to other... Ooh! Yes. Do I want to keep Dragon Rage? Fire Fang. I mean, Flamethrower is obviously better than Fire Fang. Charizard's special attack, I think, is actually marginally higher than his attack, or at least ours is. But Fire Fang has that flinch possibility. But is it really going to be worth it to keep Fire Fang for that? I'm not sure if that would be true. I think we ditched the Fire Fang for Flamethrower, honestly. I don't see a situation where we want a Fire Fang over Flamethrower. Mostly just because of the mischance. chance. 65, 95. Yeah, it's so much less damage that I don't think we can justify it. How does this work with choice items if you replace the move in the middle? How does that work? Does it reset or are we just locked into the new move? Flamethrower is not great here because Chansey's special defense tank, but it's fine. <laughs> Counter, you fucking bitch. I could just go for a fly. Do you think it has mirror coat? I'm actually mildly concerned. What, let's go to Fire Tuck. Let's play safe. Play around counters fucking us over. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually bulk up. Probably twice and then go for the Drain Punch one shot. I mean, I think there's significantly good chance that we kill it already. Oh, you defense curl spamming bullshit. It's not going to keep defense curling, right? Okay, no. I'm going to bulk up again. Because <laughs> I want to make absolutely sure I kill this thing in one fucking shot. So that's a polite screen? That's special defense, right? Yeah. Okay. It could have another screen. Wait, we've seen counter, we've seen light screen, we've seen defense curl, we've seen egg bomb. No, that's it. I'm just going to go for the drain punch. Fuck it. Actually, I could have went back to Charizard and just beat it with Flamethrower. Because we know now it doesn't have, like, Mirror Coat or something. I'm sure this just dies. Yeah, okay. I'm just being paranoid.
I don't think you can blame me for being paranoid about a mon that has counter and a fucking giant pile of HP. No! I hate you. You use a chancy with counter. You're not my friend. Fuck. Grass. Let's see what other encounters we could have had. Uh, you are, were a dupe anyway. Don't yawn, you fuck ass. Bye bye. Psychic or something? No, another Pokemaniac. Okay. I think the same thing happened last time there was a Pokemaniac. I was like, is this a Psychic? Uh, do you think it has Focus Blast? Do you think it's going to kill Graveler? I think we... No, this is the safer swap. We got two... So f this is an, an interesting thing to bring up too. Flashbang actually fills the same niche as Graveler in terms of negating electric moves. But obviously doesn't have the glaring weaknesses Grappler has. I don't think this is going to have... It could have... I don't think... Are we going to run into like a surfing Raichu randomly or something? Like, is that a thing that's going to happen? Okay, no, he's just suiciding. That's fine. We'll just swap out after this. The earth, but it's worth going gravel here too for Earthquake as well, obviously. Lantern would have to fight this for longer, which runs the risk of something untoward happening. Nido King. We've been tail whipped twice. Otherwise, I would stay in and go for the Earthquake kill. Um, we can probably safely go into Apex here. Yeah. And just go for Surf. Don't like that. Shouldn't have... I mean, I guess Earthquake could fuck our day up, huh? We're faster, though. I think we kill him. We're Mystic Water. Good. That's probably pretty close. We were actually maybe risking Tentacruel there to a focus energy to Earthquake. Yeah, that might have been a mistake. But it doesn't learn Earthquake inherently. Or at least not in base game, I don't think. I'm pretty sure you have to teach it Earthquake. Uh, it looks like our mother has more items for us. Grab this Max Ether. Um... These guys, what happens if you don't pay? Because if it's a trainer battle, we're obligated to do it, actually. So I guess I actually have to check this area out. No, they just take it. All right. Okay, curiosity is, is covered. We did need to check it just in case they were a fight. It could have changed in the ROM hack, and I'm obligated to fight it if it is. By my rule set. Um, yeah, I should have swapped. I knew that was another Maniac. It looks like there's a third Maniac above this. Although, you don't know what these guys are going to have anyway. Graveler. So, impending rock move here. We can... We can go to Tenacruel or Friar Tuck. Um, I'm pretty sure rock and poison don't interact, right? It's ground that fucks us and rock doesn't do nothing. Yeah, one X. You can take this. It also shouldn't have like stone edge or anything. It should just be like rock thrower. It goes explosion immediately. I wasn't expecting that. Tentacruel's dead. I 
wasn't expecting an explosion immediately. The one time I don't fucking play around it, too. Shit. The thing is, like, if we bring in Zara there, it's not a great fight either if they don't explode. If they go into, like, earthquakes and shit, we end up fighting a drawn-out battle that way. Still would have been the safer play, I suppose, to switch to the ghost. Damn it! I'm really surprised it didn't have a rock type move to go for there with like the quad effectiveness. The Brava. Um, should kill this with Bullet Seed. Damn it! Venusaur. Don't think you have anything that really threatens me, but I don't have anything that really threatens you. This is a job for Charizard. The Eternal Rivals. Uh, that's scary as fuck. We're faster. I don't think it has anything that can one-shot us even with a plus one. So we should be able to easily kill this, even with a two-shot flamethrower. It's actually a one shot, so then no no risk at all. Well fuck. Alright, damn it, Tenacruel. Uh, it was a good Tenacruel too. Fuck, man. That's always the risk with gravelers. Like you swap in a fucking something to kill them easily, but most of the water types aren't bulky. Fuck. At least we didn't risk flashbang. Damn it. I like this plus speed fucking tentacruel. Surf Giga Drain poison jab coverage. <sighs> well, by my rules, I get the... Or, well, at least by the addendum I clarified a week or two ago... I do get to go back to the Pokemon Center and grab a new Mon to replace the dead one. Because I, I decided that it would be unfair to snowball into a failure just because I'm stuck carrying dead weight for an entire route. We can't heal, though. So this is really just, just replacing the Mon. God damn it, Tentacruel. Should have played around it. Fuck. Well, we're not having good luck with water types, huh? Like three unfortunate, like, yeah, these were our, our surprise deaths, basically. The last four were the Shedinja and then three water types. Like, Pelipper was planned. And then even the Bibarel and the Buizel died. We might, and the Krabby, too. Jesus Christ, half our dead mons are water types. We might need to keep an eye on that sort of thing going forward and think about picking up more water encounters now. 39, 41 on Toxic Rogue. I think we'll take the Toxic Rogue with us, probably. Uh, let's actually take a look at you, Giraffe Rig. Naughty Nature plus Attack minus Spadef. Inner Focus. I'm not a fan of that. That's a pretty bad nature for a mon like this. Um, I don't see any immediate usage of you for you. I guess we'll grab you. We'll roll double fighting types. We actually want Toxicroak for the Ice Gym anyway. So it makes sense for it to get some action. Um, fuck, you're double weak to Psychic. We don't have a Psychic Berry, I don't think. Which is what I would normally give you. Dark Dragon, Flying Grass, Fighting Bug. Normal, Fire Electric, yeah. 
Uh, we can give you we give you usually the choice band, right? Which I don't think anybody actually in the, is using in this team. Oh no! Wait, Charizard has the band over the scarf. He does. Okay, we don't want the band on him anymore because we we have flamethrower now. Scarf is a little redundant on him, actually. We could do... Yeah, let's do King's Rock, because then it basically turns Flamethrower into Fire Fang. Just better. And then you can have... Do we want Scarf, or do we want Band? I think we want Band. Because somebody else could have Scarf. I don't think I have want Scarf on anybody else, though, right now. Hmm. Alright, this is fine. I'm gonna fix the overlay since we're still fairly early into this episode. Anyway, we're back in the route. Um, I guess we can surf over here and there's some shit too, isn't there? Let's go for a surf. A real quick surf. Uh, do I have cut? No, somebody needs cut. Um, it's not a bad move for coverage, so I guess we can find a spot for her, probably. Yeah, I guess we're obligated to, because we actually can't go back to the box just to pull a cut mon out. Charizard or Wu? Uh, we could give it to Tembo. It works against, like, ground types. That's not bad for coverage. It's probably worse for Wu. The only issue, so we could kill like Mud Slap. It's got some good utility being able to do chip damage and lower accuracy. It's less good when Sturdy isn't better. Actually, it's pretty bad with Choice Band. Hmm. Grass, it's going to be fighting water types and rock types. Ground types. So we don't want to fight ground. Rock we have fighting for. It, it's useful in water. I think it makes more sense on Charizard. Honestly. Yeah, I think that makes sense. I think we... Do we give it to Dragon Rage or do we give it a Smoke Screen? Relying on Smoke Screen is pretty poor. But Dragon Rage is really only here to help catch shit. Which is useful in its own way. Yeah, I think we keep Dragon Rage and get rid of the smoke screen. Charizard's not the kind of mon to set up evasion strats on, really. Like, if we want to smoke screen some dangerous mon, that's better on something that's a little more sturdy. We're really only doing this for a black apricorn too, which is not actually really worth it, but whatever. I'm here. I feel like picking it up. Maybe there's a hidden item over here. That would make a little bit of sense, maybe. No, it's literally just a cut tree and an apricorn. It's pretty poor. But I feel like there's more cut trees in this area, so we do need it. Uh, and we do have to do the Lake of Rage immediately after this, too, without going anywhere else first either. So, either. Um, this thing can't kill us. Well, cut sort of getting used at least. Uh, water types. Oops. We can go lantern here and get lantern a little bit of action, I suppose. Otherwise, we go fire talk, but lantern's a lower level. Lantern will be good in the ice gym. Because there's a lot of overlap between water and ice.
good crit. Might have mattered, might not have mattered. Hard to say. Flashbang's more of a wall than a offensive attacker, so the crit really might have mattered. Like, I don't expect... Ooh, faster's not good, and poison jab's not good. Okay, that's not that bad, actually. Just kidding. Yeah, Tentacruel's physical attack's probably not that great, huh? Two-shot, barely. Maybe. That may not be a two-shot. Uh, we'll go for it, though. Now we have no choice but to go for it. Good job, flashbang. Gorbis. Keep discharging. Should probably go uh, see a doctor about that discharge. I wonder if this is one of the games where explosion is extremely deadly. Because I know there's like a generation or a few generations where it like reduces your defense automatically. Which is pretty fucking rude for a Nuzlocke. Um, I guess we'll go this way first. Might as well. May not want Lantern in the lead anymore. Nope, this is fine. This is a fine lead. This is a good lead actually for a Bibarel. Obliterated. So, Lake of Rage has different water levels. Um, and the way that works is we'll have to come back sometime and do the other water level, basically, I guess. As a separate trip. Because basically the rules are you have to continue until you can't. And for zones that have multiple states, that's just the, the way it is. Okay, Manectric uh, should be easy kill for us here, too free HP and shit. Do we do signal beam or surf? Let's go for surf first. Give him that stab. I imagine signal beam is probably never worth using except maybe on a psychic type. But like when you're arguing about um, neutral damage on surf versus signal beam. Yeah, it's like 75 base or something. I love you, Lantern. This is my first time using the Lantern, actually. But I've seen a few different Nuzlocke runs that have made good use of Lantern, so I was really excited to see it. Yeah, so uh, we're obligated to finish the route, right? That's true, but we can go between these two areas because that's all like one section, basically, right? Because there's not a Pokemon Center um, down in this area. There is a hidden item. Wait, where is it? It's down here. Weird. Okay, so we got a surfing area. Yeah, so there's this whole tree maze that's different depending on if it's raining or not. And I don't know what the trigger for that is. It might be always raining initially because of the Gyarados. It might change later on. Blate. Hey, is he dead? One dead carp. I probably should just single beam to save PP in case it ends up mattering. Oh well, it's fine. Red flute. Interesting. That's um one of the status effect removal items. Which we'll never use, given the restrictions on this run. Um, I'm assuming there's not going to be anything in these trees. I assume we need to reach land masses for there to be anything to interact with. 
That's not always true. Sometimes there are items that you pick up while surfing in games. But this doesn't seem like the kind of place for it. Uh, I'm gonna signal beam. Reversal? <gasps> you son of a bitch. That was my favorite HP. How dare you? Also, we're slower than a magic art. But the reason for that is Swift Swim. He has it, we don't, it's raining. Okay, I might just repel. Yeah, because we're just fighting fucking magic harps. This is really annoying. Yeah, I'm gonna repel. At least a little bit. Bye. God, they don't give shit for XP even at 40. That's kind of, um, well, it's, it makes sense. They're a fucking magic card. Wrong pocket. I never remember in these games where the repels. Oh fuck, do we have repels? We might not have rep oh, we do. Three. I need to buy some repels just to have on me. There's some good tactical benefit to having them available when you're on a route for like the first time. Oh, it looks like that actually connects to the lake proper over there. Let's just do a quick item check and see if anything shows up here. No. Uh, let's go this way first, and then we'll double back. Oh, never mind. This is nothing. Got it. What about over here? Yeah, I suppose it makes sense to check kind of the outer area. Because there's not going to be anything on the interior paths. Secret power. Interesting. I'm not sure if there's much good tactical use for that ability. I'm not going to use another one. I'm just going to go for the land that's right here. Continue to cut a bloody swath through Magikarps. As we approach 42 on Flashbang. Also, this is a new area. Um, I wasn't thinking about that, but so far everything we've seen is Magikarps. So it doesn't matter. We could fish. I wonder, it's the Lake of Rage. Like, are we gonna fish anything up that isn't just a Magikarp? I think we'll see if there's grass. Is that like hidden power or something? Yep. I hate hidden power because I never, never know who to use it on and I never want to try and do the calcs to figure out when it's going to be actually useful. Okay, yeah, so we're done here. Let's super repel and try to get out of the water with minimal other encounters. Uh, I'll probably save the last super repel though, so when this one expires, we're just gonna have to fight through magic harps. And that's just gonna be that. Um, now it did look like there was a way out of here without having to backtrack everywhere over here. Yeah, right, okay. There's the red Gyarados. We'll come back to that. I want to finish the southern part first. Actually, fishing Guru's house. Ooh. Super rod time? No. Okay. Uh, maybe he gives us the super rod as a reward later. Maniac. 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 Well... Graveler could use XP, but I like him better as a swap in. Let's try out Wu here and see if he's going to do anything. I don't think we fought this guy, did we? Yeah, we haven't fought this guy. Uh, Water Ground? 
Ground's not great for us. Hmm. Well, Friar Tuck will kill it. Question is only how safely he'll do it. Okay, they just go for Rain Dance. That's pretty irrelevant. Unless they swift swim and go fast, which could be the case. Nope, bullets each and body this thing pretty easily. It's water ground, so it's doubly weak. Yeah, we literally need a single seed. Your Nido King was outstanding, huh? Interesting. Probably had a Nido King in base game. Uh, we definitely don't want Wu in the lead because we know they're psychic types. Eh, Flashbang can still lead if we go into the grass here. That's fine. Uh, we fought you, I'm pretty sure. Nothing around here. Oops, I didn't want to go into the grass. That's my bad. I was one tile lower than I thought I would be. Curlia. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I don't think it kills us because of our bulk. Let's see what Signal Beam does here. Just for reference, we're actually faster than a Curlia? Really? Would not have guessed that. It's very interesting. What is your speed actually at? for curiosity's sake. 71? Yeah, okay, that's not that bad. It's not great, but for our team, you're on par with Breloom, which is honestly a little bit distressing how slow he is. And we fought this fisherman, I'm pretty sure. I guess Signal Beam's worth it, isn't it? Doesn't kill. Honestly, Giraffe Rig seems pretty good in this game. Yeah, we fought that fisherman. I'm looking at the map just so I don't have to look at it later. I wasn't sure if maybe there was a deceptive thing where there's another puddle on the route because we came in from the top this time, but the route's done. It's actually shorter than I remembered. Just a little bit. Not. It's pretty much what I remember, but it is a smidge shorter. We've got that uh, dusky lighting going on. So I'm assuming we can just body this Gyarados. I'm not doing any like shiny claws stuff. I don't believe in shiny claws. I think it's, it's uh the shiny claws is just propaganda put out by big shiny. They want you to believe that shinies are important. See it, it, it all feeds into their, how they maintain power over society. Are there no battles around here? Apparently not. Did we talk to you? All right. Uh, let's just go kill the Gyarados then. I'm gonna give me one second to pull up the base game walkthrough on Bulbapedia so I know if there's normally like any weird fights here. Okay, in base game, there's nothing but magic herbs here, which is maybe true. Um, I think we'll do a few attempts at fishing to see if there's anything here, and then we'll do a headbutt encounter, which if the headbutt table is the same as base game, we can actually get an execute, which would actually be really cool. Executor is a fucking beast. Um, okay, so you fight the Gyarados. This can get an XP share from Mr. Pokemon in base game. And then you talk to Lance. And then he, yeah. So then you do the Mahogany Town shit. Okay. Fucking goddamn Magikarps. Uh, 
Yeah, so we'll save Mahogany Town for next time. Right now, we just want to deal with seven discharges. Yeah, better signal beam. We just want to deal with these, um, this Gyarados. And I'm going to top off Lantern before we fight here, too. We've actually done really well on this route, other than the surprise explosion. Because we haven't, like, burned through a lot of healing items. And some of these routes, you really go through healing items like nobody's business. Uh, I might want to consider doing a pretty expansive restock, honestly. 50, 78, that's fine. I mean, we're not too low. We got 22 lemonades, 20 fresh waters, which is fine. Hey, hey, fucking fight me. Forty, spooky. You remember when we had a Gyarados? That was fun. Go by. Oh, they it could flinch us. It could flinch stall us. Oh God! Don't do it! Don't you do it? Let me kill you! Let me kill you! Okay, Aqua Tail was not gonna do shit, and you're gonna die. Okay, that was a little bit more than than shit, but still. Ooh, he takes that. No shit. Holy fuck. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Even though our attack's not that high, it's still discharge. Still like base eighty or something. Four weakness, and he still fucking takes it. God damn, dude. Good try, man. All right, that'll get us the XP share. Um, so, ah, oh, fucking magic carbs. There's land to the north we want to go investigate, I'm pretty sure. It's, it's it's annoying because we have to go through the rain animation every battle. And the Magikarps are usually faster. So there's just so much extra like animation time for no gain here. I mean, I could shut off animations. But I'm not going to do that. Not just for fighting a few Magikarps. Holy encounter rate, Batman. Do we just want to burn a Super Repel? We're getting like speedy EVs out of this, which is probably not ideal too. Let's just run. I'm just gonna repel. I'll buy more. I'll remember to buy more in the town. Cause honestly, this is fucking annoying. Choice Specs! Ooh! Nice! Who gets those? I guess the only candidate in team currently is, is Lantern or Tembo. Um, if we give... Te so Tembo's got a mixed set of special and physical right now. So Specs don't really work that well on him. They, they're okay on Lantern. If we want to use Confuse Ray ever, we'll just have to swap out afterwards. But honestly, the specs seem pretty good. And then Grant and Fryer have berries to cover their Forex weaknesses. You have a Razor Fang, which is kind of neat. You have a King's Rock, which is kind of neat. Let's give you the Shell Bell, then. I'd rather heal from Flamethrower than, I'd re than flinch. Yeah. Then I don't think there was anything around here. We already checked, right? Oh, 
Hi, Lance. Yes, let's do it, Lance. All right, so that should be it for like a rage. I'll talk to a few of these people and see if they have anything to offer us. Like if this guy does anything now that we've defeated the Gyarados. Guess not. All right, let's do a few good rod attempts. I don't think, I have a feeling it's just gonna be Magikarps. I'll try like three. I'm just gonna run. I really don't care. Yeah, we'll do three fishing attempts, and then if we don't get anything that's not a Magikarp, we're just gonna headbutt. So I'm gonna have to pause and go pick up headbutt in that case. Almost assuredly, this lake is nothing but Magikarps. Which, honestly, is another argument for saving the Magikarp slash Gyarados encounter for later and not fishing until now. And just getting, like, the red Gyarados is because it gets you a guaranteed useful encounter here versus a headbutt, which may or may not be useful. Although they're good, in, good mods in the encounter table for the headbutting. Like, Heracross, Execute, those are good mods. And Execute would also allow us to move uh, Breloom away from Bullet Seed, which is a long-term plan because we don't expect to be using that. Uh, I'm going to pause and go pick up Headbutt. i got to figure out who to put it on and everything. Okay, so uh, one, Abagnale, our Mantine, has Headbutt inherently. Didn't have to use the move to it. Or two, returning to Lake of Rage. Turns out uh, there's trainer battles here. So, oops. That's that's because you leave and it resets the, the area. So that's not a violation of our rules or anything. I just wasn't expecting it. So I wasn't recording until I was going to get to the headbutt tree. And I saw the fisherman. I'm like, oh, does, is that the guy from the building? Does he have a rod for us? So I decided to talk to him. And here we are. Um, so these fishermen shouldn't be too much of a threat to Flashbang. Flashbang should fucking destroy everything here. So we'll get all these battles done. Uh, we are down a Mon, technically, because we have Abagnale in the back instead of Toxic Croak. But it shouldn't matter. These should be easy fights. Uh, even Choice Specs didn't kill the Sea King, which sucks. Wow, that hurt. I mean, it is affected by rain, even though it's physical, right? So that is, like, really high base power. 90 plus rain plus stab. So yeah, I guess we'll have to talk to everybody around here. I'm going to actually heal up. Um, oops, Abagnale. Or not Abagnale, um, Flashbang. Because Flashbang doesn't have leftovers anymore. So we're not going to play. I'm not going to take any risks there. Okay, you don't do anything. Actually, let's check the house and see now that we've come back if this guy does anything. Or is it the same thing? Okay. I don't know when you normally get the super rod in the game. It may be the case that that's the guy who gives you, like, the good rod or something, which has been moved in this game, maybe. Because we did get, like, the old rod early, so maybe we got the good rod where you get the old rod and the old rod in an early point. That could be the case. Star use maybe a little scarier because of the potential for psychic moves, but honestly, the water moves are probably comparable in effectiveness because of stab and rain, even though they're resisted. I 
I had such a good Starmie in a Nuzlocke of Black 2 until it just failed to kill a dragon with an Ice Gemmed Ice Beam and fucking died on one hit. It was a modest Starmie. It was a fucking beast. And then the one time I really needed it to come through for me and save me from a fucking high dragon, it just couldn't do it and it died. That was so disappointing. Like, fucking Surf, Ice Beam, Psychic, and Recover. Nice little Nuzlocke, no healing moveset. That, that was a full, true hardcore run with no healing, uh, no item, no healing items in battle. I'm doing a Black 2 challenge mode in my own free time right now. And it was going so good up until, like, with the end game stuff with, um,. Like the sages and the dragon and shit and the ship. Um, Cause you have to fight like, there's somebody, there's a bunch of dragons in like Victory Road that are really annoying to fight. And then there's, um, what's his face, Colrus with like Magnazone and shit. It's really fucking rough too. So I've had, I went through like the first seven gyms with like one death on the first gym. And then I get to the end game and I've lost like eight fucking mons now in just like one one or two play sessions. My team is like, I'm at the Elite Four, but I need to do some grinding because I have to replace like two fucking team members from Victory Road. It's so bad. I'm literally down to like four good mons in that run. Uh, and uh, my team I'm bringing into the Elite Four has three fucking water types in it. Because I just don't have options anymore. Like, I'm bringing a Dugong for ice coverage for the dragon. Don't even know if it's going to really work. I've got my starter, which was an Oshawott in this run, despite how much I hate Oshawott. Because I've never used it. I did I did a black run and then black two and now black two challenge mode. So I've tried out all three starters. I think my favorite... I, I like the grass and fire starters both. They both have some really interesting packages. The, the, the Oshawott line is really boring. Like, the pig gets Flame Charge, which is really cool, and then Snivy gets, uh, like, Coil, which is fun. But yeah, uh, let's... I guess we better heal up before we talk to this guy, just a safety. What I could do is I could try and save my items, because he doesn't look like a trainer. And we'll put Friar Tuck in front in case it is a water type. Okay, yeah, I thought I remember this guy from before. Uh, you look like you're a fighting type trainer. We can go Tembo and go Fly. With a swap to Zara if we need to. Ooh, the big problem here is the possibility of Rock Slide, though. Oh, they have a Sunflora. Uh, I think we still go Fly because of the rain. I think that's a better thing to lock us into. This is not actually a fighter. This is like an ace trainer or something, right? I didn't see what they what their trainer class was, but yeah, it's not a fighter. It just looked like it behind the tree. I might actually be thinking of like the black two fighter sprites. Sunflower hangs on. This shouldn't matter. This is like quad resisted, right? Is a flying fire. Yeah, it doesn't do shit, dude. Get fucked. Oh, sunlight. Did they set up... Does that set up sunlight? Wait. I wasn't paying attention. Did it sunny day? Turn one? It might have. That's fun. Oh yeah, but then then my third water type is the the bird, because in black and black two you get the guaranteed bird encounter on the bridge, the swana line, and it's like all I have left to fight fighting types with. That's even remotely decent. Because the fighting normal types take one X from um, hmm, Altaria. What can you do to me? Earthquake? I fly, so that doesn't matter. Rocks are the big th fucking threat. Ah, 
shit, do I stay in? I don't know what to expect from an Altaria. It's a little scary. Oh, that's scary as fuck, dude. Shit. Shit. Fuck shit. Shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. That's not even... Oh, no. That's not even a two-shot. Okay. Okay, recoil. Oh, what do I fucking do? Do I go for the fly? Do I try to fight this with Zara? Oh, shit. Grant. Hope it doesn't have Earthquake. Go Grant. Fuck, fucking fuck. Dragon Dance is so goddamn scary. There's so much Dragon Dance in black, too, as well. God damn it. Fuck. 43 base game, Dragon Dance, Dragon Breath, Natural Gift Takedown. Dragon Breath is special. If it just has the base game moveset, let's check documentation. Let's check documentation. We can't take fucking risks here. Uh, we've seen two things from base game moveset so far, though. 334, Pokedex number, documentation, skimming, 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 334, Altaria. Stat changes to 520, 90 attack, 100 defense, ability, cloud nine, level it moves, outrage. Okay, 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 okay. I'm, I believe that we're safe to do this swap. I think we're safe. I think, I think we should be okay. This dodges takedown. And then I think the only thing it has then is a specialty move. Uh, is it going to Dragon Dance again? It might just Dragon Dance, so I can't Sucker Punch unless it decides it's going to attack. That does so little damage. It does so little damage. We got to believe we're safe. We have to believe that we're safe. That it can't hit us with a physical move. I think we are. No para, please. Fuck you! I think we need two Shadow Sneaks probably to kill this. Nope, one kills it. Oh, thank fuck. Oh my god, I was quaking in my boots. I'm not even wearing boots. All right. Well, that's done. Good god. That was scary. At least it just had the base game moveset. The base game moveset was the sole thing that uh, really saved us there. And our ghost type being, you know, in our team. Uh, let's heal up for our encounter. I, okay, actually, I don't need... I'm not locked under the root. Am I locked under the root thematically? Be yes. Yes, I am. By my rule set, since there were new trainers, it's a new area, technically. A new iteration of an area. So we are locked into it. We can't just fly back and heal if we want to get our encounter now. And I think my rule is, is to get the encounters uh, as soon as we basically can. Um... How much does Charizard need? 60, so we do go for a Lemonade. Scariest battle we had this episode, honestly. I just want Charizard and Zara for the capture. I'm not gonna heal Flashbang here. I just want to be prepared for um, horrible eventualities. Actually, let me... We're operating under the assumption this is the base game encounter table. So our fortress is here. Because if so, we need to Pineco 30%, 14 to 16 in base game. So maybe we lead. Let's actually lead Zara. I changed my mind. I shouldn't have healed Tembo. We're not going to use him. Probably. Execute. Okay, it's the Pineco. Hopefully it doesn't self-destruct on a ghost, but it's a wild mon, so it basically just chooses moves at random. We're gonna quick ball. We're just gonna quick ball. 
I thought we are going to go for Hypnosis if the Quick Ball fails. We don't have a Fortress, right? Pretty sure we don't. Just checking my notes just to make sure. I'm pretty sure, though. Yeah, okay. Uh, quick Ball. Quick Ball. Go Quick Ball. Quick Ball, Quick Ball. All right, cool. Uh, I'm gonna have to come up with a name. All right, I'm gonna pause while I look up a name. Back in a second. Inti's card art is a big dumb circle. Fortress is a big dumb circle. So Inti it is. Let's go check out our Pineco. Another steel type. Another steel type. That's that's potentially pretty good. And figure out um, if it looks like it's worth using. I'd love to get a Scizor. It's probably my favorite steel type. I'm a big fan of Scyther. But I also like Scizor a lot. Uh, let's get rid of Abagnale. Goodbye, Headbutter. Did we look at our... Yeah, we looked at our draft rig. Bashful. So neutral and it's sturdy. Okay, sure. Protect Bug Bite? That's not bad for a level 16 Mon. Um, yeah, well, that's fine. That's that's all well and good. Um, I'm going to have to think about what we bring for the Ice Gym. Start training people up. I also need to figure out how to farm Heart Scales, because we really need Heart Scales. Because that's the big thing holding Aerodactyl back from usefulness is it's got a lot of good moves that have to be relearned specifically. They're all level one moves. Who else do we want for, um, we'll, we'll probably want to bring Rapidash. So like Rapidash and Charizard, Toxicroak, we'll probably dump Breloom just to keep him safe because he's grass type. Probably bring Spiritomb as a flex slot. Get rid of Graveler. Bring Lantern. We do need more water types, though. Look at this team. Hmm. We're going to have to think about that for a bit. Well, we get a water encounter. I think you get to fish in the next town, so there's that as well. Should be okay. Yeah, so I think bringing a steel type to the next to the ice gym is probably pretty good. What else is ice weak to? Fire, obviously, fighting. Fire, fighting, rock, and steel. Oh, rock itself is actually not interesting rocks not weak to ice i always forget that so we could bring like pseudo wood up because it doesn't have the ground type cover the ground to fuck that up hmm it'd be good if there was like a fucking articuno or something Deli bird? What other? I'll have to look at maybe through the ice types and decide, like anticipate which ice types are gonna be uh, shown up. Anyway, uh, that'll be it for this episode. Until next time.